Hi everyone and welcome back to our Music Industry in 5 Minutes or Less video series. I'm Renee Meredith, the COO of Exploration Group, and today we're going to answer the question, what is an IPI number? IPI is another identifier code that songwriters need to know. It stands for Interested Party Information, and every songwriter should have one. It's assigned to you when you sign up with your PRO and it's used to identify songwriters and publishers. Each songwriter and publisher will have their own unique IPI code. IPI used to be called CAE number. CAE stood for Composer, Author, and Publisher. It's important to note that the IPI or the CAE number is a separate number than your account at your PRO. Now, why is the IPI number so important? Well, it can help to make sure that you are properly identified as the writer of the song, especially when you have a more common name. I mean, can you imagine how many songwriters are named John Smith? If someone is looking you up in ASCAP or BMI's database and they look up John Smith, they'll get hundreds of entries. And it doesn't get much easier by just including a middle initial or a middle name. I just did a search for the writer John T. Smith in the Songview database, and 42 results came up. If I know the IPI number, it gives me a second data point to make sure I get the correct person and find the correct songs that should be linked to that person. The other reason the IPI is so important is that often as you register your own shares of songs at various platforms like your PRO, the MLC, HFA, MRI, or any of the others, it may be helpful to have your co-writer's IPI numbers. This can help to make sure that when your co-writer eventually puts in their shares of the song, they aren't creating a duplicate entry and they link you properly to the song that is being registered. Now, could you end up with two or more IPI numbers? Well, theoretically, no, but sometimes mixed mistakes can happen. And if you look yourself up at your PRO and find multiple entries for yourself, you may see that the duplicate has a second or maybe no IPI number listed. If something like this happens, reach out to your PRO and get it fixed and get the duplicates merged. Also make sure to double check your publishing to make sure of that any duplicates are removed there too. And always remember that if you have a publishing administrator, you should reach out to them for support as well. For more information about this topic, check out the links in our description below. Thank you all for watching and don't forget to click subscribe for new videos on our channel. And if you have a question you would like us to answer, please feel free to put it in the comments section.